We're back. Hello, audience. So we walked past this guy, grabbed an X speed. It was stupid. Yeah, that's um, it's a waste. We get an X speed, and this guy is stupid. It's like I'm a blind fanatic to this belief system of our leaders over the glorious new god. Uh huh. I can't. Uh -huh. I, uh, I can't see. Oh, okay, I'll help you in there in a second. Okay, here you go. Uh, now can you, now can you see the DS screen? Yeah, I see it. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for a mud bomb. <laughs> because oh. of the quote. Wow. Uh, wow, taunt really. All our moves are physical. Are all our moves. A heart attack. Including our hidden power, which is the best hidden power type. Don't, by the way, don't don't use water type attacks on a crow gunk. I mean, I see no, have... it's got anticipation. Basically. Oh, never them. mind then. Never mind then. We're good. Yeah, yeah okay. so good. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. They all have anticipation in this game, despite the fact dry skin is the infinitely superior ability. Yo, know, that's gonna be the funny thing is when we get one that's gonna have anticipation. Well, we're doing a nuzlocke. We can't choose. Yeah. I think what was I fighting for again? Wow, that is really a perfect example of blind fanaticism. Do we have a? Uh, an yeah, we do. We have two antidotes. But good. Yeah, let's get rid of that poison. I want to get Shelly some love. You know, actually, we could come back here, but I don't think the cycling route's any easier. Plus, we can't do it until we get a bike, so we kind of have to do this. Hi, you. Uh, you're the one that doesn't want to fight us. Oh no, you are the one that wants to fight us. I thought, yeah. You stole from a weak trainer. Does that mean it's weak? Do you Bro. think things through? I a think glam, everything yeah. through. It's a glam meow. It's a cat. They sent a cat after us. Oh my goodness, it's a cat. It used growl. It's fast. Glam meow is really fast. Yeah, per ugly though, just, I mean, early game, I guess, Glamio, per ugly's good evolutionary line, but when you get into late game, it just, it just sucks. It also just looks ugly. Glamio it does looks cutish, but per ugly, oh my, oh wow, good job, Shelly. I mean, when, in, the, in the very first iteration of Diamond and Pearl, uh, per ugly was considered viable, not great, but viable, but that's only because it lent hypnosis and. No, well, for one, for literally one game, they changed it in Diamond and Pearl. Uh, hypnosis went from having sixty accuracy to seventy accuracy. Yeah. It had it had high accuracy. Anyways, this is the right way to go, so we don't want to go that way. We want to go Yet. with the wrong way because there's a trainer battle here. And, trainer and experience battles is key. Wow, we've done two battles. Also, these people are really bad at noticing us. We had to step down. Why, thank you. We love it when people come to us and donate it. Screw you! That's this, all I have to say to that. So screw you. That means she's trying to be friendly and helpful and, you know, other things. And she has a stunky. stunky it's going to die. Stunky, stunky. It sprays us with poison. Stunky, stunky. It just you screech. I mean, you know, competitive play is a really important thing. Too. I mean, it's part of what makes certain Pokemon really interesting is that you wouldn't think about them in a competitive sense, but competitive is, you need that mix of both competitive and non-competitive in Pokemon. Yeah. You need the ability to just have fun. It's why the tabletop is so good because it just said, you know how everything has to be competitive? Well, we decided to make Farfetch'd into a crit fishing monster with a crit rate where on a D20 when you, oh my, it just got off a Oh, oh! Thank goodness! I was so worried that I would miss. We got a crit rate monstrosity in Farfetch. How much of a monstrosity? Farfetch. <laughs> Farfetch crits on the following things. Yes. By that I mean, Farfetch in a competent trainer's hands crits on a 15 and up on a D20. So That's you a die with 20 sides and roll it. Anytime you roll a 15 or higher. You knock it out. That's a 30% chance, I believe? Uh, well, 19 and up is 10%. 18, 17 is 20. So, yes, that is a 30. You did it correct, Elson. Yeah, uh, I you know can it's get e it, And you can get even higher with certain other builds in mind. Yeah. That's just a, that's just a competent, but not mid-maxer. 
Whoa, fake out. Ooh. Okay, yeah, oh, well, we're, we're out. Free damage. Yeah, we're so this is me. That, don't even think that hit so bad. I mean, fake out's a good move, and I guess on the right build, they can do like 25% HP to a Pokemon. Uh, I would have went Staravia, but the footy intimidate. Yeah, but we want to get bad girls some XP. Yeah, I guess he's close to leveling. Yeah, we also want to try and get her to a gold bat. Oh, good. Huh. They um, bite it. Are you faster? No. Oh, good. Okay, well, we're it going to the Pokemon the Center. Well, the good news is we can switch out to a bird that intimidates. We can switch to an intimidating bird. Ripley just comes out and just stares at the cat. The cat looks at it. Ripley just looks over it. The little cow look at the top twitches and strikes at the Glamio in the face. The Glamio is like, what? No. It just steps back because it's confused. All right, so we're both at minus one attack. Wonderful. Yeah. Wing attack. Oh, come oh, on! Well, we're switching again. No, we're staying in. Ripley. Ripley's Ripley kind just... of frail. Ripley will do fine. Oh. That was at minus two attack, so it's, attack has been cut in half. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Oh good, you just slept. Okay, Ripley. Keep sleeping. Fine. You know what? Chimpney. Just punch it in the face. And then it does hypnosis again. Just somehow. Well, we have mock punch, so we'll go fast no matter what. No, no. I'm saying it's going to just do hypnosis right now this turn. No, it did scratch. Yeah, the AI, are... the AI is not a predict. AI is not a prediction mod machine. You know, that would actually be a thing I would program into a Pokemon game if I made it. Any trainer that has Pursuit always uses Pursuit on the turn you switch Pokemon. That's not fair. I mean, I would do it just because it would be the slight jerk. Wow, 60 XP for everybody. But Ripley still leveled up. Yeah, Ripley's leveled up. Batgirl didn't get anything. <laughs> well, we're going back to the Pokemon Center. And, well, we're halfway through an episode, but that's fine. We did beat, what, one, two, three... Three trainers, exactly. Yeah, three trainers. Actually, no, wait, maybe four if we count. Yeah, four, because we also did beat the trap. Oh, yeah. So, well, yeah, one... I think that was the one of the traps, though. Uh, so, this is the annoying part here. The cut. Yeah. Speaking of which, though, now that we have cut, we cut can it. really easily get between Eterna and Floroma Town. We also, now, that we, now that we cut, we can cut the video. So when we get back. I mean, well, not now. We're only eight minutes in. Okay, fine. I thought, I think we could cut the we could cut the video and like an edit. Oh yeah, that that would be clever. But no, I actually have a plan. We are going to go heal our Pokemon, and then we're going to go do something that I want us to do right now, because it's nighttime. Oh. Are we going to catch Rotom? Uh, we're going to see about that. Uh, we're mostly just going over there to see if we can get a Ghastly to get that out of the way. So we can increase our chances of, I believe it's Miss Magius and Platinum. I hope it's Miss Magius and Platinum. And Miss not... Magius is two. Well, Miss Three is two Miss Magius. Yeah. yeah I, like... I, lo I love oh, this. Hey. I love this. Hey, Grania. Hiya. Were you intrigued by the rumors going around? Uh, No. What rumors? Uh, oh, the old Chateau is ghost Pokemon? Cool. But going in there is, well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy. <laughs> it's not I because I'm scared. I love Grodny because she, she's she got hobbies besides being a gym leader. I, that's the best thing about gym leaders is when they're characterized with other hobbies. And the fact that Grodny is scared of ghosts is the perfect example of that. Anyways, this is still Eternia Forest, so we can't catch anything. We'll get that Pokeball in a bit, but right now, and welcome to the old Chateau. We can catch something here. Yeah, so that's why we're putting Ripley out. Uh, Batgirl out front. So she can use Astonish, which is why we kept Astonish also. Anyways, look at this. I guess, because Astonish is good against ghosts, but it's not as powerful as Bite, so it's not as likely to kill. Yeah. But anyways, there's a lot of things here. There's an old Gato. It's the only one in the game, and it's basically a full heal. Yeah, but here's what it looks like, which is important. It's... I don't know what that is. 
I don't know what it is either, but it, it's a chateau specialty, and it heals. It's a gato. You know, but it says is. it's a chateau specialty. I know because we're in the old chateau. What's a gato even supposed to be? I don't Trask know. Trash can is empty. Unless we do some. Uh, oh my goodness! What is this? It's, it's a, a it's a ghost. It's not the good ghost though. It's just a fun ghost. Well, actually, no, Gengar is good, but not that we can get Gengar. Just, oh, it, I was, wow, it's faster than Batgirl, too. Well, Batgirl isn't fully evolved yet. True. Uh, we'll try with a Pokeball right now. Let's try and catch it. It's pretty low now. We got two Pokeballs. We should probably go back and get some more before we take on the, the one I'm interested in. <laughs> what is with our Pokeball look? I love it. Mm. I still think we should get more Pokeballs. Oh, well, we're not going to do Rotom right now, but we're just going to show where Rotom is. Born from gases, anyone would faint if engulfed by the gaseous body, which contains poison. Wow, Ghastly, you have poison inside you. Well, Tails, what do you think we should name her? Hmm. It's a her somehow. It's a female ghost. Let's see if I can think of something. I I'm kind of leaning a... towards Danielle. Danielle, okay. As a reference to one of my favorite shows growing up, Danny Phantom. Okay, Danielle. Because there was an episode, I think she appeared more than one, but I remember. The, I don't remember. Yeah, the, the one, one where it's a girl. clone of Danny. Yeah, it's a clone where it somehow became XX because, well, to be fair, it's not just a pure clone because the um, bad guy incorporated his DNA into it. So technically it's basically the child of Danny and the bad guy. Which is creepy to think about. I mean, Superboy is that to Superman and Lex Luthor, but... It's Lex also Luthor... creepy to think about. Well, Lex Luthor did that because he needed to get around the fact that Kryptonian DNA couldn't be perfectly cloned. Yeah, the only time they've ever perfectly cloned a Kryptonian, it was Power Girl. Which, I mean, he's F2 Kryptonian, so there's a count. Does and that depends on continuity and whatnot. There's a lot of crazy things. Yeah, they got rid of it in New 52, but I think her name is Divine. Yeah. Uh, well, no, she's definitely exists in New 52. She's just now black-haired and is more conservatively dressed and blah, blah, blah. Oh, this also is a good place to grow. No, no, no I'm, talking about, I'm talking about a character. Of, I'm not talking about that power girl. I'm talking about a character named Divine who they, who was a villain. Ah. Uh. He was, he was a clone of Power Girl in the old Power Girl series they had back in, uh, which is like 26 issues, which isn't bad for, a, let's be honest, C-list hero in terms of popularity. I mean, it all depends. Certain heroes get really good popularity, others don't. Power Girl is often assumed as, you know, certain things that ruin her ability to really be viewed as popular, which... He's got a good, he's got a strong following by the people who know who he is. Yeah, exactly. But... Most people don't know who she is. Yeah. Batgirl, you're so close to evolving. Oh, we got a rare candy. Batgirl, what, what level is it? What the level does he evolve at? 12, 22. Okay, so well, uh, maybe hold check. on that right. Uh, check, because then <sighs> if she evolves at 22, we can evolve her right after we level her up here. So we can just grind on some ghastly, because they're worth a decent chunk. This is a grinding episode, audience. You know, I... I've been cutting these out because they're kind of boring, but in this case, it's going to be all leading up to Batgirl becoming a, um, well, a bigger Batgirl. Better Batgirl. Bat. Yeah. A better Bat. Yeah. How much does she get off that? A hundred and, oh my goodness. It's a good grinding place. Let's go up, maybe. Uh, yeah, but these guys all have... I haven't used Bulbapedia in how long? Oh, I know Bulbapedia? what you said. I know what you said would be, but I just kind of clicked on the first one I saw. I mean, both are valid and viable, and people can get into a tizzy, because they do. That's the thing. Like, Team Four Star was like, yeah, we're just no. Because people got into a tizzy when we said which one we were using. So we just don't say which one we're using anymore. And I can agree yeah. with that, because people have their favorites, and people... I don't care. I yeah. just use... I, mean, that's I, just, I normally use Sabi, because I'm usually on my phone, and for some reason, Bulbapedia gives me issues on my phone. Well, but it's one when of the wikiest sites, so that's probably why. Yeah, but when I'm on a computer, I really don't care. Yeah. Okay, I'm not finding it because I haven't used this thing in a while, so I, I'm going to go to therapy just because I actually know where the stuff is located. 
But when Wikipedia's not bad, I'm just an idiot. You type in the word Zubat. I was looking at the Zubat page. And I couldn't figure out where they put the uh, information on evolutions. The other thing is that she'll probably evolve into a Crobat pretty soon as well. Because Feel free she... to talk about how stupid I am. Because... <laughs> I'm okay, going it's level, to insult yeah, you, it's Tailspin. It's level here. 22. Yeah, level tw so, I was talking to the audience, but uh, yeah. you can do it too, I guess. I'm not going to do that. So it's level 22, so, yeah. so one more level and we can uh, wear candy. It. Yeah, we'll wear candy her, and then we'll have a Golbat. Who will soon evolve into Crobat, because let's be real here. We got if, the Sudeville on her. And because he hasn't fainted, because, well. Nuzlocke, yeah. That, that means the happiness hasn't gone down from probably anything. Let's feed her some bitter herbs and see what that does to her happiness. Let's not. <laughs> we just, we pit, pit her down and like, eat the herbs, they're good for you. See you. Her speed isn't that great. Oh, but finally she's outspeeding the ghastly, which is good. Well, her, her speed isn't great because he's in stage one. Have you, a crowbat has amazing uh, speed. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one more or two more fights oh, yeah. with gas oh, and yeah, she's I'm, going to do a And once I hate to miss a Nuna evolution, I gotta use the bathroom, so have oh, fun. Fine. Hello, audience. This is gonna be the tail end for this episode. Two more ghastly fights, and then we got a gold bat. Yay! Woo! Sparklers in the sky. Pretty lights. Do, do, do. We're going to have a goal. Yeah, so we pause the Galactica thing because, yeah, well, it's Galactica. They can wait. Oh, my goodness. Look at... Oh, that's so close. It's so far. Mm. One last guess. Oh, my goodness. It's one of the... Oh, that's going to... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do the smart thing here. We're going to... Ooh, it's got Nightshade. Oh, that's fine. Use Nightshade. We'll use Astonish. You're f Perfect. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that XP doesn't go to waste, because you're going to be evolved through it. We're candy. We're going to split the XP up. Yeah, cut its attack. It's going to try and use Spite, but it fails. And now Wing Attack it. <laughs> I'm going to use Spite again. <laughs> nope. Ripley's a slow Staravia. I'd like to remind everyone that he, well, she is brave. So, well, she is in fact a very damaging attacker. She is also... <laughs> slow. Which move should be forgotten? Wow, what should we replace with Confuse Ray with its 100% hit chance? Supersonic? Yeah, with well, its 55. I would have never have thought about taking that. I'm back. What did I miss? We're about to evolve Batgirl. Fun. Yep. So, let's make this the tail end of the video. Rare candy. Shove it into the bat. I mean, um, to be fair, it's level 22 as of Sun and Moon, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed. Hasn't yeah, changed. Hasn't Batgirl is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. This is a gold bat, gold bat, gold bat, gold bat. A much better bat. Yes. And soon to be probably one of my favorite Pokemon, because my two favorite types are actually Bug and Poison. And yeah. as of this point in the game... Night is very good. Yeah, they don't get really great until fifth. Well, Bug sixth. never gets really good, but uh, I mean, it's decent. It's just not great. Batgirl's but, gen nature is gentle. What does gentle do, anyways? Um, I, I don't know. I think it might be a neutral. But I don't remember. Well, we should double check. Um, with that audience, we'll see you in a bit. I mean, if it's a minus attack nature, it's not terrible because...